Good morning, boys and girls. And as you know, today is 4th of July and we want to celebrate the 4th of July. And we are excited about the 4th of July because it represents freedom. Freedom from other countries. And, but we also want to celebrate the freedom we have in Jesus because in the man's eyes there is no real freedom but in Jesus there is freedom well I want to talk to you about um, Moses and they were trying to get out of Egypt and Egypt Pharaoh didn't want to let them go so God sent 10 plagues the plagues were blood blood from water so water to blood frogs lice fly livestock pestilence boils locusts darkness which turned into the death of the firstborn this lasted about four to five weeks four to five months I'm sorry and it was it was very painful you know to see this I guess for the um, the people there and the ten plagues were sent because Pharaoh had refused to let the people free they were in bondage they were building they were um, probably harvesting and doing different things for Pharaoh and if they did not obey what happened to them they were in prison they were beaten they were all kinds of awful things happened to them they were starved so when the last plague happened Pharaoh said okay I'm gonna let you people go and as they went on and they were in a distance because it took them time to to pack up their things and to leave they were ready ready to leave because God had told them get ready and when I say it you leave and so when when Pharaoh finally agreed Moses said to them let's go let's go and they all got on um, you know walked and packed and did whatever they could to take some of their belongings and to to go on the trail to to be free but as they were on the road um, Pharaoh said no 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 I want them to come back go go so he told his soldiers to leave and go get them and as he left they were they were on their way and as they were on their way they ran into the sea and in the distance they could see from behind that Pharaoh's soldiers were coming and they were like what do we do what do we do and they Moses said to them let's pray and God is going to give me a sign so he gave God gave him a sign lift your rod lift your rod and he lifted his rod and they walked and started to walk into the water and as they started to walk in the water the sea opened up and there was dry land and so the people were able to cross but the soldiers were coming closer so they were afraid and so God sent a ball of fire in between them and held them back by the ball of fire and the people crossed they crossed that that sea and I could imagine that it was very quiet but they were walking quickly you know like in a fire drill you go in a fire drill it's like walk quickly and quietly listen to instructions so they did they walked quickly and quietly across the sea and they were set free it was an amazing sight I'm sure for all of them to see this and so once they crossed the sea they thought oh no now they're gonna get us and the ball of fire went away because God took it away but as God took away the ball of fire he also let the wall of water come down so they couldn't cross the Red Sea and so they 
they were amazed by seeing all of this and by seeing how how God had saved him. You know that we we do have some part of freedom here. However, there is no real freedom unless we follow Christ and unless we follow his will. So God has given us instructions through the Bible to follow him and to follow his instruction. And I'm going to read to you in John 8, 36. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. And the Son is spelled S-O-N, as in Jesus Christ. So the Son has made us free. We need to thank God for that freedom that we have in him. And someday soon, he is going to take us with him so that we will be free forever. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus. And we thank you for the freedom we find in you. Lord, thank you for your love. And thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came, died, and rose so that we would be free. We ask you bless us throughout this week and help us to have a good day. We love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, guys. And I want to say hello to, let me see, Kaylee, Anna, Jonah, Let's see, Caitlin, Lily, and Joel, Joy, Natalie, and any other child watching, and even you adults. I want to thank you all for, for being with us today, and we'll see you next week. God bless. Have a good week, and stay safe.